We cut the ribbon today on a new facility that's preserving an important part of U.S. history. Robert Kittle shows us that South Carolina is the new home for this collection of films from the U.S. Marine Corps. You've seen plenty of ribbon cuttings, but this one's a first. USC is officially opening this cold storage vault to be the new home of 18,000 cans of film taken by the U.S. Marine Corps. There's footage going back to World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. These are the Marine Corps films as they maintain them and um, so that they have a very high level of research value in terms of their historical accuracy. Richard and Navelle Smith funded the film vault and a scanning center to digitize the footage. They're named after Navelle Smith's cousins, Lieutenant Colonel James Davis and John Davis, both Marines and USC alumni. These films have been and some of them still are at Marine headquarters in Quantico, Virginia, but they're starting to deteriorate, so they needed to find a partner who could preserve the films and store them long term. The Library of Congress and National Archives didn't have room for the films, and the only reason USC does now is because of this new cold storage vault. And if you don't store them in the proper climate, then you'll lose them, and there's a lot of history there that needs to be preserved. Once they're digitized, the films will be available for free online for the public to see. They can see service and sacrifice in what people have given up to preserve the freedom of this great country. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. It's going to be a great thing to be able to see and do your research, and, and it's a great tribute to our Marine Corps.